Aloha familia. In this video, I'll be talking about how to synchronize your intentions, moods, habits, and life with the greater cycle that is nature. And so, if you don't know, starting about this evening, there's going to be a partial solar eclipse. And it happens to fall exact with the new moon today, July 12th, in Cancer. And so, this is a powerful portal and just one example of ways to line up your intention, your work, your play, your relationships, and really your personal rituals and ceremonies and your deepest aspirations with the larger cycle that exists in nature. And I want to tell you that all the ancients did this. All of your ancestors studied the movements of the stars and the seasons very closely and they would make large decisions of love, state, economics, war, and indeed religion, ceremony, and spirituality based on these cycles. And so they're worth paying attention to even in this day and age where maybe the tabloids or the spam and clickbait on the internet have discouraged you from really taking astrology serious, which is the oldest science actually in existence, by the way, besides observation. It's the oldest extant science that is handed down through the generations. Of course, there were other sciences before that to build cities, to keep societies, and so on. However, these don't have the lineage or the length of transmission that astrology does. And really, what I would invite you to do is consider that as the cosmos is changing, regardless of the meaning you attach to it, as the earth is traveling through this vast space and time, and the sun as well, and the seasons on earth are changing, and yet earth itself is also changing as it passes through new ages or calendars that the ancients created very specifically based on the solstice and equinox, based on the precession of the earth's axis as it travels through both the Milky Way galaxy and the solar system. And so just ask, ask yourself, do you pay attention to this? Are you synchronized with it? And I would propose maybe noticing or just paying a little bit of attention online on your phone or to your calendar of when the moon cycle is coming about and what sign the sun is in as the sun travels through the 12 zodiac signs or symbolic nodes on this ancient calendar and find yourself in that zone and maybe check in with a trusted source. And I'll allow you to find that. There's so many out there of when is a good time to really push forward with decisions. Not that they would change the way you did business or the way you did a relationship anyway, you're going to do what you're going to do based on your internal compass. But just like you would check the weather to see if you need to bring an umbrella because it's raining outside your home, so much so as your psychology and your being connect with the world, it's useful to notice what cycle you're in.